come back to Kung Fu Mania, it's every once in a while you get the back of these cabinets start to come out. You can see in here it's actually come out of its groove. So we're just going to move that up. And I'm going to push it forward and see if I can't reset the little staple back into the wood here. It's not always possible, but sometimes. But uh, you can see we've come out of our groove up top as well. Probably somebody slammed something such as this shelf into the back of it. So it's just going to be a little tricky bit of maneuvering the uh, panel to set back up in that groove. Okay, so this one I'm just kind of sliding the fridge forward a little bit. Try to get a little room and get back there. And I'm just going to pull this forward, see if I can get it up into the groove. So that is going to be the key to this thing working out, if at all. So I pulled it forward, slid it up, and there we go. Now, down below, got to get my staple in and lined up. And at this point, you got options there for the little staple. But I'd like to kind of reuse it to pull it forward and back into its home if possible. And if not that one, then a different one. There you go. There it is. No big deal. It's not perfect, but definitely better than it was. And this deal will take this out and put it where it belongs. It's actually the shelf it looks like for this side. Anyway. Actually it's down right here. Here we go. Got all our shelf pegs here, and not much light. It looks like this one is too high, so we'll move that down where it should be. Set our shelf peg in, and we're good to go. Just need some cleaning to be all set. So this one it's better, but I still got a little fine tuning to do on it. And, but uh, once you get it exactly how you want it. Uh, what you can do is either run a bead of wood glue along the back inner corner, corner corner at the bottom, the back corner inside the cabinet at the bottom, or a bead of silicone or caulking, you know, anything that you can glue it in and it's going to hold it, keep it from slipping down. And uh, if it's along that back corner, it's just not going to be visible from the outside, so it's a nice easy way to, you know, make it, make it last. Down that narrow road a little awkwardly Cause of the burden on his back There was a wall on either side of him The name of which was Salvation The road descended up just a little bit and upon that place there stood and at the foot of it, there was a sepulchre as a Christian. 